hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to apply person segmentation to an image using vision framework in native ios application so here i am running my uh, app on a real device you can't test it on a simulator so here you can see it was it has immediately applied person segmentation to my image i will show you output for few other images as well which i have so i'll just change the image name i'll rerun my application again and uh, here you can see uh, the output so person segmentation was applied i'll apply it to one more image i will rerun my application and here you can see person segmentation was applied so let's see how to do this i have created a native ios application using uh, xcode i am using a ui kit but if you want you can use swift ui as well then inside the assets folder i have taken few images like image 1 image 2 image 3 take whatever image you feel like then inside the view controller i have imported vision i have created a ui image view programmatically and i have applied some ns layout constraints as well as added that image view to our parent view then i have created an ui image as well and here change this image to to whatever uh, image uh, whatever image name you have inside your assets folder then <coughs> i have just applied that image to our image view then i have started one background thread i'm converting our image to a cg image then we are making use of vn uh, generate person uh, segmentation request which is from the vision framework i have set some quality level as well as output pixel format change it to whatever you feel like and then we have created this vn request handler then it performs the uh, request and we get the first output and then we get pixel buffer out of it then we just call, call this particular method to convert to a ui image and on the main thread i am assigning it back to our image view so this is the code for converting our pixel buffer firstly we convert it to a ci image then we use the ci context then we create the cg image and then return our ui image view and here is the nil output for it so yeah uh, in case if the image view conversion fails so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye